So we're given this three by three matrix and we wanna find the inverse. How do we do that using row operations and an augmented matrix? That's what you're gonna learn about in this video. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to want to add on what we call an augmented matrix. And on the right side of this augmented matrix, you're gonna to wanna to write the identity matrix. And remember the identity matrix is a matrix with one on this diagonal and zeros everywhere else. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do row operations. Now you can multiply any row by a non-zero constant, and you can add it to any other row, and you can interchange rows. So those are basically the elementary row operations. Now what we're gonna do, and our goal here is to get the identity matrix on the left side of this matrix, and what ends up here on the right is gonna be our inverse of this original three by three matrix that we were given. Now the strategy that you wanna follow, and you might wanna write this down, because sometimes students get confused, where do I start and where do I go next? So you wanna to try to get zero here in the lower left-hand corner first, then zero here, then here, then here, then here, then here. So I kinda of label them one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kinda of like a cheat code. And the reason we do that is so that we don't undo the work that we did in previous steps. That's quite frustrating and it'll be very difficult to solve this. So if you follow that pattern, you can't go wrong. Now, I'll give you some other tips along the way, but let's start with getting zero right here in this lower left-hand corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's multiply this second row by negative one. So I'm gonna say negative one times row two plus row three, and we're gonna put the answer in row three. Now I'm just writing this so if I have to go back and check my work, I know what steps I followed. So the other um, little strategy that you can do is you might wanna take a, little scrap sheet of paper and write down some of the work so you don't have to do all this in your head. It's easy to make little arithmetic mistakes. And so I'll show you what I mean. So I'm multiplying this whole row by negative one. That's negative two, one, zero, zero, negative one, zero, right? Row three, we're just gonna keep the same. That's two, two, one, zero, zero, one. And then what I'm doing is I'm adding these together straight down. So zero, three, one, zero, negative one, one. So this right here is what's gonna be our new row three, okay? But a lot of that work you can just do in your head, but in the beginning, again, you might wanna take a scrap sheet of paper just to prevent frustration, really, okay? So let's see what this looks like. Zero, negative one, one. And the other rows are gonna stay the same. Okay, so we've gotten zero here in the lower left-hand corner. We wanna get zero right above it here. That's the next step. So how am I gonna get this to be zero? Well. I'm gonna to have to combine the first and second rows together. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say negative two times row one plus row two, answer is gonna go into row two. Now this I'm gonna do in my head, okay? But go ahead and check me uh, on a scrap sheet of paper. So let's see, so negative two times one is negative two, plus two is zero, right? That's what we want. Negative two times one is negative two, plus negative one is negative three, Negative two times two is negative four, plus zero is negative four. Negative two times one is negative two, plus zero is negative two. Negative two times zero is zero, plus one is one. Negative two times zero is zero, plus zero is zero. And then the other rows are gonna stay the same. Okay, so now we, you can see we've gotten zero here, then here. Now we wanna get zero in this third position. And so to do that, we're gonna to wanna to combine uh, the second and third row together. And you can see if we just add these together, that's gonna give us zero, because negative three plus three is zero. So let's just write that down. We're gonna take row two plus row three, and we're gonna put the answer in row three. Okay, so I'm gonna write the work uh, over here. We're running out of space a little bit, but we'll make it work. Okay, so we've got zero plus zero is zero. Negative three plus three is zero. Negative four plus one is negative three. Negative two plus zero is negative two. One plus negative one is zero. And zero plus one is one. The other rows are gonna stay the same. Okay, so now you can see we've gotten zeros here in this lower left-hand corner. Now we wanna get zero in this fourth position. And so that's gonna be right here. We're gonna to wanna to combine the third and the second row together. Uh, and we wanna get this to be zero. So how can we do that? Well, I can see that the lowest common multiple of four and three is 12. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this second row by negative three. So I'll say negative three times row two plus four times row three, and we're gonna put the answer in row two. 
That'll give us the zero where we want it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that work. So let's see, we've got uh, negative three times zero is zero. Four times zero is zero. We're adding those together and we're getting zero. Negative three times negative three is nine. Four times zero is zero. Nine plus zero is nine. Negative four times negative three is 12. Uh, four times negative three is negative 12. And we add those together, we get zero, which is what we wanted. A negative two times negative three is six. Negative two times four is negative eight. Negative eight plus six is negative two. Negative three times one is negative three. Four times zero is zero. Negative three plus zero is negative three. And negative three times zero is zero. And four times one is four. If we add those together, we get four. The other rows are going to remain the same. Okay, so now you can see we've gotten zero here. We wanna make our way up to this fifth position, which is right here. And we're gonna to wanna to combine Let's see, we're gonna to wanna to combine this third row and this first row together. And I noticed that two and three have a lowest common multiple of six. So why don't we multiply this top row by three. So we'll say three times row one plus two times row three, answer in row one, right? So let's go ahead and do the work on that. Let's see what we get. So we've got three times one is three, two times zero is zero, we add those together, we get three. Three times one is three. Two times nine is, whoops, sorry, we're doing row three over here. So it's three times one is three. Two times zero is zero. If we add those together, we get three. Uh, three times two is six. Negative three times two is negative six. We add those together, we get zero, which is what we were wanting, right? Three times one is three. Two times negative two is negative four. Three plus negative four is negative one. Oops, I made a mistake. Let's go back here, we're working with row three. Three times one is three. Uh, two times negative two is negative four. So three plus negative four is negative one. Yep, I'm just working with row three and row one. And we've got uh, three times zero is zero. Two times zero is zero. Add those together, you're gonna get zero. Three times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Zero plus two is two. So you can see how easy it is to make a mistake. So that's why sometimes it helps to write it down uh, on a separate sheet. The other rows are going to remain the same. Okay, so now you can see we're getting there. We've got a zero here. Now we want to get zero in this last position, which is right here. And so in order to do that, we're going to have to combine the second row and the third, uh, first row together. So first and second together. And it looks like we're going to have to multiply this first row by negative three. So negative three times row one. That'll make this negative nine. If we add it to row two, and put the answer in row one, that'll give us a zero right there where we want. Now, let's go ahead and do that. So if we do that, what are we gonna get here? At some point, I'm gonna have to erase this whiteboard. So we've got a negative three times uh, three is negative nine, right? Plus zero is negative nine. Okay, negative three times three is negative nine, plus nine is zero, which is what we wanted. Negative three times zero is zero, and this is zero, we add those together, we get zero. Uh, negative one times negative three is three, plus negative two is one. Negative three times zero is zero, plus negative three is negative three. Two times negative three is negative six, plus four is negative two. The other rows remain the same. Okay, so now you can see that we've got zeros in this lower left-hand corner, zeros in this upper right-hand corner, but what we want is we want ones on the diagonal. So what we can do here now, we can combine a few steps together. I'm gonna to multiply this first row by negative one ninth. So negative one ninth times row one, answer, it's gonna stay in row one. This second row, we're gonna multiply by one ninth. <clears throat> so we're gonna say one ninth times row two, answer is staying in row two. And this one, we want this to be a one here, so I'm gonna multiply by negative one third. So negative one third times row three, answer is gonna go into row three. <clears throat> so let's do that. So what do we have here? We've got one, uh, zero times negative one ninth is zero, zero. Uh, this is gonna come out to negative one ninth. This is come up, gonna come out to three ninths, which is one third, I'm just reducing. And this is gonna come out to positive two ninths. Okay, and then for the second row, we're multiplying by one ninth, so that's gonna come out to zero, one, zero, uh, negative two ninths, uh, negative three ninths, which is negative one third. 
and 4 ninths. And then for the third row, we're multiplying by negative 1 third, so that's going to come out to 0, 0, 1, uh, 2 thirds, 0, and negative 1 third. And this matrix that we're ending up with here on the right, this is the inverse of that original matrix. Now, what you can do if you want to check your work is you would take that original matrix, let's just call it A, times the inverse, which is just this right-hand side of the uh, augmented matrix, and you're going to get the identity matrix, which is this matrix right here with ones on the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. So great job if you're able to follow this process. If you want to see more about matrices, I'm going to put a video right there talking about elementary row operations. So if you want to practice these techniques, um, go ahead and follow me over that video, and I'll see you over there.